സിംഗപ്പൂർ ചോയ്സ് സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നത് ഹൗസ് ബ്രാൻഡ് തനതായ സ്വാതിന്റെ സംതൃപ്തി പവൈഡ് ബോയ് ഓൾ ഇന്ത്യ സൂപ്പർ മാർട്ട് സിംഗപ്പൂർ ഹോൾസെയിൽ പ്രൈസ് ആയിട്ട് റീറ്റെയിൽ മാർട്ട് കോ സ്പോൺസേഡ് ബൈ തിരുമലാഗി ദ ട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് കൗകി സിംഗപ്പൂർ ചോയ്സ് ഇന്നത്തെ എപ്പിസോഡിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം ഇന്നെന്താ സൺഡേ ആണ് എല്ലാവരും ഇങ്ങനെ ഫ്രീ ആയി ഇപ്പോൾ ഉറക്കം എഴുന്നിട്ടൊക്കെ ഇരിക്കുകയായിരിക്കും എന്തായാലും സൺഡേസിൽ നമ്മുടെ സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ഒക്കെ റെഡി ആയിരിക്കാനും നമുക്ക് ആദ്യ സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ് കാണാം ഇപ്പോൾ ഇരിക്കുന്നത് ബോളിവുഡ് വെജീസിലാണ് ഇതൊരു ടെൻ ഏക്കേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ലാൻഡിൽ സ്പ്രെഡ് ആയി കിടക്കുന്ന ഒരു ഫാം ആണ് ഈ ഫാമിലെ വിശേഷങ്ങൾ നമ്മളുമായിട്ട് പങ്കുവെക്കാൻ മിസ്റ്റർ ദിലൻ സിംഗ് ഇന്ന് എന്നോടൊപ്പം ഉണ്ട് concrete jungle in singapore but we actually have a farm we have a 10 acres farm here where it's a exhibition farm not a production farm so people come here to look at what we have not for sale but to understand that things grow from the ground up Dylan, could you just tell us what this is actually? Okay, basically when you walk past this, all right, this looks like a bush to you, but it's a very old school kind of a shrub. It's called Ulam Raja in Malay. Now, if you translate that to English, it means king of salads. Oh. Now, the reason why, I just pluck one leaf here for you. If I pluck this leaf, if I had to bite it, I wanted to eat it. Okay. And it's going to be tasting like the skin of a mango. Try biting the whole thing. Put the whole thing in your mouth. in the tip of your tongue when you bite it at the back you're going to taste like it's the skin of a mango mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. but it's got it's got nothing to do with mango so this people used to take it and put it into their salads mm-hmm. okay and it oh, en- yeah, enhances yes. the whole thing so mm-hmm. again nothing to do with mango Mangoes, but, but it tastes like the skin of yeah, a mango sure that's mother nature is best oh, all right <laughs> so that's ulam raja okay, for you okay ulam raja or king of salads This has a very funny name. It's called Kadong Dong. This is how you spell it, Kadong, Kadong Dong. Dong. Okay. It's a very old school fruit. Mm-hmm. Used to be everywhere in Singapore because we also live in 
in villages and everything. So we all have these fruits almost everywhere. But today it's gone. So that's why Bollywood Veggies have this set up here to remind people that these are the fruits we, as kids then, we used to plug and eat. Now, have you eaten this before? No, no, I haven't. This, it may look a bit funky, but it's as good as it gets. Because it's all natural. Try it, bite. This is, just take a little bite of it. Small bite. It's hard, it's hard. But it's sour, but not very sour, but it, it is, is sour. It is sour. <laughs> If you go to today's, yeah, today's kids, they buy it in the 7-Eleven, the sour mm. candy apple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the original okay. one, it's really nice. Yeah, okay, okay. So the name is? Kedong Dong. Kedong Dong. So right here, what you see is like a bush. Okay. If you walk past this, you think it's a bush. But what I wanted to do is, if you to break this, squash it. When you squash it, the smell comes out. Smell. Mm, yeah, you, you, know, you get a mosquito repellent. This is called a citronella. Citronella. Okay. It's a natural mosquito repellent. Mm. So all you do is, if you have this at home, which you can grow, mm. take some of it. Be careful, the sides are very sharp. Mm -hmm. Close it up. Twist it. Put it in your pocket. Oh. That's, that's it. it, mosquitoes won't come to you. Wow, that's good, very cheap. Actually, smell, I yes. get, uh, you know, the small badges which it's we get in NTUZ. Exactly uh, the same, but this is natural. No. They take from here, they extract it out, wow. put in a patch. Wow. But you notice the difference, all right? See, you have crushed it. Look yeah. at the color difference. The oil has come out. Yeah. This is more green and looks wet because when you crush it, the, oil. the oils, it releases and the smell will be stronger. So you can see the difference in color here. Mm. Yeah, so now you can keep it in your pocket and yeah, maybe. you'll be fine. <laughs> I can take a few also. <laughs> All right, so what we do okay. is after this, we're going to go to and see, I'm going to show you something else. Okay. Now, the funny thing about bananas, we all know bananas. We have eaten bananas yeah. literally all our lives. Now, do you know what we understand from a fact that how do you differentiate edible banana and non-edible bananas? Oh. There are non-edible also. There's okay. non-edible. Okay. It gives you a terrible stomach ache. You won't die from it, I think. Okay. But the way, you, the way you look at it is Mother Nature is telling us, if you look up here now, the banana flower, mm -hmm. okay? If the banana flower points down, mm. the bananas are edible. Oh, okay. If the banana flower points up, you can't eat it. Wow. That's how Mother Nature tells okay, you about okay, it. Okay, you know? okay. After here, I'm going to show you on the other side, the other, a golden lotus banana. Mm -hmm. Beautiful look at the flower, but you can't eat it. Mm -hmm. All right, so okay. shall we just take a walk oh, yeah. there? Yep, let's, uh, let me show you down there. I was showing you about banana flowers. So this is one example of a banana flower pointing up. If it points up, it's Mother Nature's way of telling you, hey, don't touch me. Look at me, I'm beautiful. That's it, non-edible. Flowers pointing down, eat as much as you want. This is what we've been told on the farm. And Everybody seems to agree on that point. Yeah, but it's a beautiful looking flower, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's called really a golden beautiful. lotus. Oh, it has got a name also. Yeah. Papaya. Very interesting plant again, a, a fruit. Now, how would you differentiate a male and a female, say, if you want to grow one in your garden? Everyone wondering, by putting a papaya seed, you think you're gonna grow, you're gonna get papayas? No, not the case. If you look up here right now, you will see fruits on this tree here. If I were to ask anybody, how would you differentiate a male or a female papaya? You gotta make it come to my height. If I'm standing next to you, mm -hmm. I'm about five foot eight. Mm -hmm. About my height, that's when the papaya will decide. I mean, it will show you whether it's a male or a female. The minute, if you are a papaya farmer and you waited for them to grow, if they all have flowers, you're in trouble because all it is one male papaya tree with flowers to fertile the entire farm. So female papaya has fruits, male papaya has flowers. If you have not smelled this leaf yet, I would like you to smell it and I'm sure you can find it all around the world, but not all around the world in India and in Singapore and all. Mm, the yeah. smell, mm. 
has got so many different Spice. flavors coming in yeah. from clove to cinnamon to so many other things. It's called an all spice tree. Some of them use them for cooking and it'll bring up one notch higher. Mm -hmm. So this is one amazing tree and I like the bark, it's really hard as well. And how would you even imagine walking past a tree like this? And you will not know the scent unless you break it and you smell it. So how do you use it? I mean, You can use it for anything, anything. Your, your imagination. So you can put it while cooking, mm -hmm. you know, or while, like what I do is when I'm boiling my pasta, oh, yeah. I put this in the water to make the pasta so the, the smell okay. and the taste mm -hmm. goes into mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. pasta itself. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. ഹൗസ് ബ്രാൻഡ് കഴിഞ്ഞ അറുപത് വർഷമായി സിംഗപ്പൂരിൻ്റെ തനത് രുചിക്കൂട്ടുകൾക്കും സ്വാദിനും ഒപ്പമാണ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഓരോ ഉൽപ്പന്നങ്ങളുടെയും വാസനയും ഗുണമേന്മയും നഷ്ടപ്പെടാതിരിക്കാൻ ക്രയോജനിക് സാങ്കേതികവിദ്യ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് ഞങ്ങളുടെ തന്നെ ഫാക്ടറിയിൽ തയ്യാറാക്കി പാക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഹൗസ് ബ്രാൻഡ് തനത് സ്വാദിൻ്റെ സംതൃപ്തി All India Supermart enjoy the sprawling one-stop shopping experience in four floors. The premier All India Supermart offers wide range and great varieties of consumer products, groceries to fresh vegetables, chocolates, lifestyle products, fashion wear, pharmacy and beauty. All India Supermart's futuristic self-service kiosk is a highlight for groceries. All India Supermart, 41 Norris Road, Singapore. ഹനിഫാ ന്യൂ സെൽഫ് സർവീസ് സൂപ്പർ മാർക്കറ്റ് വിത്ത് ഡൈവേഴ്സ് കളക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് പ്രോഡക്ട്സ് എവറിഥിങ് യു നീഡ് ആൻഡ് സംതിങ് ടു സ്യൂട്ട് എവറി വൺ ഹനിഫാ വൺ വൺ എയ്റ്റ് ഡൺലപ് സ്ട്രീറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റി സെറൺഗുൺ റോഡ് സിംഗപ്പൂർ how do you maintain this farm like it's spread over 10 acres so it must be quite difficult to it, it is a bit of a challenge but what we do is because of proper structure and engineering with ivy sing and bollywood veggie with her experience because they are all a family of builders mm -hmm. so what we did was the way the farm is built such whenever rain falls whatever little or, or heavy it gets gathered together into a little pond that we have out here and in there we have a pump system that get all the water out and it pump out every evening at 5 wow. so there's about 7 meters in height so it's a really deep pond okay. so if singapore has got no rain for 3 months or 4 months we're we are okay we are okay. safe okay. we will okay. still have water so every evening 5 o'clock you the reason why 5 o'clock is because mm. if you put it at 11 or 12 mm. the evaporation will take the water oh. up and the plants okay. will be fighting okay. with okay. the okay. sun okay. Okay. so at 5 okay. the Keep plants up. get to get more uh -huh. other than all these plants and trees uh, what all creatures you know you'll, you'll be pleasantly surprised being singapore a concrete urbanized jungle <laughs> we have residents on the farm we have two pythons oh my and God. one cobra seriously we yeah we have them here the reason why we have them because we have paddy fields and all the stuff okay. if i don't have them to keep the check, check. of the rats right. okay. you know right. all the rats mm -hmm. the restaurant will be in trouble so we have okay. this resident the circle of life okay. you know if i take yeah. the snakes away mm -hmm. this place is infected with rats so, yeah. so that is one thing and the other thing lately mm -hmm. we having wild boars in singapore wild, wild boars oh my god okay. they come from outside the uh -huh. jungle in uh -huh. singapore uh -huh. we still have wild boars uh, so it's they, not fans it's fans but these are wild boars they are so strong they rip apart the nets mm -hmm. come right through the fence and enjoy our sugar cane okay, our so tapioca uh, and our farm boys are chasing them out but they are big <laughs> oh i know they huge, are huge, huge and they're dangerous oh my god so okay. the thing is we're trying our best but at the same time it, like i say it's a circle of life so how do you keep away from the pythons 
See, the snakes are smarter than human. Mm -hmm. They will never bite you or come to you unless you corner Corn. them. So by the time we are here, they're gone. They're gone. They are all gone. I've only seen it once in the last six, seven years. Six, seven years, just once. Okay, that's One good time. to know. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, they were not, they're not like mankind. They're just going to attack mm -hmm. you all the time. They, they will go away if they can. They won't bother you. Okay. Not at all. Okay. What is that thing around here? It looks like a cycle. <laughs> a cycle wheel. The thing that I have down here, over here, my little necklace given to me by my wife. Okay. And I've called this a circle of life. I mean, okay. just by coincidence, I happen to work on a farm. farm. Okay. So if I get rid of one equation from the whole thing, the circle of life will be broken. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get parrots coming in, eating our fruits and all. We don't chase them away because they, at the same time, they're pollinating the farm. Mm -hmm. We've got 20 over dogs on the farm. Mm -hmm. Food in the restaurant doesn't go to waste. Mm -hmm. At 6 p.m. in the farm shots, mm -hmm. we let all the dogs out mm -hmm. and they do their business. Okay, okay. So that fertilizes the whole farm. So everything plays a part. Mm -hmm. That is why we're trying to tell people the three R's. Reduce, mm -hmm. reuse, mm -hmm. recycle. recycle. Yes. If you can do all that, the world will be a happier happy place. Happy. Yes, exactly. exactly. The Bollywood uh, veggies and the owner, Mrs. Ivy Singh, Anna. Pair uh, thana cake ma very different ayda to them Bollywood veggies. So in the gonda ani pair vanna na cool la vishesh ka amko Hello, ma'am. Welcome to Singapore Choice. Renju, please call me Ivy. Uh, sure. So, ma'am, I would like to know first of all uh, why the name Bollywood, Bollywood veggies. Well, my father was Indian. He's from Uttar Pradesh. He's a Rajput, and my mother is Chinese. So, when my husband and I wanted to retire in Singapore and we found the land. We decided to call it Bollywood Veggies because everybody at that time was interested in Bollywood. Bollywood. And we couldn't call it the House of Orchids because you know people think it's an orchid farm. Mm -hmm. So that's why we call it Bollywood Veggies. Okay. You come from an entirely different background. How did you come, come into farming? Well, I wouldn't say I come from a different background. My papa was one of the biggest landowners in Singapore. Oh, okay. For example, we owned the whole of Sime. Okay. We owned six and a half million square feet in Sime alone. And that was since I was born in 1949, and the government acquired it only 27 years ago. So we have always been landowners, and for people who are born into land, we see land as life. We don't see land as building a condominium or building a shopping centre and just money, we don't. Land is life. So that's why we decided to retire onto a piece of land, but we were going to retire in Australia in Perth. Mm. But my best friend's husband had a heart attack, he died. And uh, one day we were flying home, I opened a newspaper, read about a farmer down the road, mm. and that's how we started this. And uh, like, is this a like organic farm? Do org like vegetables at all organically grown or? You know, this organic word is a seven letter word used by Western people to make us pay more for the apples and oranges. Mm. Right? We have a seven letter word called kampong or village, as you have in India, village. Mm. And in the village, you don't use fertilizer and chemicals, mm. and you won't grow things that are poisonous to poison your children, you know? But over time, people are all using chemicals and all that in, introduced by the Western companies. Uh, so what we practice is we don't use chemical fertilizers. We okay. use what is natural. natural. You are known as a gentle warrior. How did you get that name? Well, when my f husband, who is an accountant and who was the CEO of NTUC Fairprice, so actually he's a supermarket man, okay. he started calling himself the gentleman farmer. So I called myself the gentle woman farmer. But my friends looked at me and said, you gentle woman, like, hi, give me a break, you know. Uh, some of my friends think I'm a gangster, you know. So I said, okay, I shall call myself the warrior, going back to my father's roots of being a Rajput. But I thought I'll add the name gentle in front of it so that I don't sound, sound so, so fierce. Yeah. Okay. No, you actually look like a warrior with all your stick and... Yes, and my, and my knife I've, and oh, uh, all this. Yeah. Why do you... Why do you uh, well, you see, I was born at a time when in Singapore, there was only rich landowners, there were farmers, there were kidnappers, and there was the British drinking gin tonic. Mm. 
So the British, who was the original enemy, you just drink gin tonic, speak like the Queen, you're okay. Mm -hmm. But for the kidnappers, we were trained to be able to fight okay. to defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. So for example, even this, I can kill you with this, oh. you know. Okay. And if you fight with me, I can do this, and then you chop my hand, but I'll give you a punch. Mm -hmm. So we were all trained because kidnapping was a uh, favourite hobby of the kidnappers. Okay, okay. So our bodyguards and our servants all trained us to to fight, you see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're born, you're from, uh, you're born and brought up here. Yes, I was so born, born here in 1949. Nice. My papa had six Chinese women. Mm -hmm. My mother is Tuesday. Okay. She's 88 years old. She's mm -hmm. still alive. She lives on a farm, oh, but she's a little bit in a wheelchair now. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, can you talk about uh, your farm? Like I, I know it's spread over 10 acres of land. So <coughs> how do you maintain it? How many people work for you? Well, we, this is a very unusual farm. It is a modern farm for agriculture entertainment. Mm. Actually, if you look at Britain, mm. Britain started bed and breakfast mm. because they realised that you cannot have small lot farming and make money. So the government allowed them to include breakfast and a hotel and a bar and so forth. So this is similar concept mm. to what all the Western countries are doing mm. in Italy, in Germany, in Australia. So we just brought that idea here okay. and we put in a restaurant, we put in a, a cooking school and a walkthrough for kids and things like that. Mm. So basically the fundamental is we copied what the Western That's culture cool. did. Right? And you look now, the in thing is everybody is going to farm to table food. Mm. Everybody is going back to nature. Everybody is going back to organic food. Mm. So the reality is I didn't create anything new. Mm. I just brought, brought this it. idea and brought it back mm. to Singapore. Okay. House brand, Karinya Arvada Varshamai, Singapore in the Tana de Rujikutagalkum, Swadinum Opamana. Yangalude Oro Ulpenangaludeim, Vasanaim, Guname and Mim Natapadadirigan, Cryogenic Sangedi with the Ubiogiche, Yangalude than a factory in Tayaraki Packaging House Brand, Tana the Swadin de Samtrupti QBB Pure Ghee for cooking, baking, and barbecue. Superior taste in so many ways. QBB Pure Ghee. I heard you give uh, cooking classes here. Like, how do we attend it? I tell you a secret. I have never cooked in my life <laughs> because you know we have uh, from young servants and people okay, who cook. Okay. You know, and I hate cooking. Okay. Uh, I'm more a warrior, warrior. <laughs> but I hunt for the food and my mate cooks it. But uh, okay. we have a Indian uh, boy, uh, Dylan Singh. He's okay. also a Singh, but he's a he's not a Rajput. He's a Punjabi. Okay. And he is fantastic. He does all the kitchen work. So, you know, my man will harvest, okay. bring the food in, and he will cook the food. Wow, that's good. And we have a very uh, small uh, number of people working, 10 Singaporeans and about 10 foreigners. But the foreigners are actually the strong ones, mm. mostly from India and Bangladesh, yeah, okay. who actually does the farm work. Okay. But mm -hmm. you will see that we don't do heavy farm work. We only grow things like sugarcane, Bananas, we're the biggest banana mm. grower because Indians oh, okay, love to grow okay, bananas. Yeah, <laughs> and we grow uh, tapioca, sweet potato, oh, etc. Okay. This is not really like a farm, it's a farm garden. garden. Okay. You know, and everything you see can be eaten or can be used for something. Okay. We don't grow stupid plants that mm -hmm. are useless, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Dylan is the one who does the, does cooking. the cooking. So mm. is it uh, mostly local food? Or? We have a combination Com okay. because I'm half Indian, half Chinese. Yeah, so we do Indian, we do Chinese, oh, yeah. okay. we do Malay food. Wow. Uh, so we do vegetarian food, we do Western food. So we have almost everything. So you basically make it all happy. Correct. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, like, do, do we give tours on the farm? Do you conduct tours? Yes, we do a lot of tours for school children. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of tours for tourists as well. Okay. Uh, we do a lot of tours for even universities mm -hmm. who want to come and see what a real garden is mm -hmm. like in Singapore. Okay. You know, most of the gardens that have been created are so prim and proper, uh, I know. you know, so neat, so <laughs> sterile, mm -hmm. and children can't touch anything. But here, we allow the kids to take the leaf, you know, we allow them to smell it, we allow them to pluck it, you know. Okay. 
uh, and that's the beauty yeah, yeah, of yeah, this garden. Especially in Singapore, you don't get to see such, you know, uh, like so much acres of land and <coughs> it's, uh, especially the metropolitan cities, you rarely find a chance to see. Actually, what <coughs> I did when I first came mm. was together with a group of young farmers, mm -hmm. we created a crunchy countryside. Okay. So what we did was we carved out this part of okay. Crunchy, because okay. the Crunchy Reservoir is there, mm -hmm. and these are the non and this is only one percent of the land in Singapore. Okay. So it's a very small percentage of the land in Singapore, mm -hmm. and I think every country needs a countryside. Mm -hmm. You cannot plaster and cement and shopping centre mm -hmm. everywhere, and that's a frightening thing that's happening to most countries, Country. especially in Asia, mm -hmm. right? But if you look at the Western countries they all maintain a certain part percentage of their land yeah. for farming yeah, and okay. food yeah. security. Mm -hmm. So we are saying that just leave this 1% of land alone and make this somewhere for the soul of the Singaporean. Yeah. You know, Singaporeans are all highly stressed, yeah. they live in a city, yeah. it's overcrowded, yeah. etc. And the only thing is it will implode. Yeah. So you need a place like the crunchy yeah. countryside where they can come here and relax for a day. And also, we have several farms which are open, including a hotel next door, the De Crunchy Resort, that, that you can actually come here and spend a weekend without leaving the country. So we've created a beautiful little gem of a place called Singapore's Wild Wild West. How do you market your stuff, uh, like crops and all? How do you market? I don't market my stuff mm. because I don't want to sell my things mm. cheap mm. Uh, to companies and people who want to pay me peanuts mm. because they think that I'm not a, a Western mm. uh, Australian mm. farmer. Mm. They think uh, I'm a Singapore low-class farmer so they want to pay me cheap. cheap. So I don't sell to anyone. Okay. I don't need it. Okay. So what I do is we put the, the products here, we sell reasonable price. Mm -hmm. And May, there's a girl out there who runs the shop and she sells the books that she wrote. But we use most of our products at the restaurant. Okay. And whatever we have left over, we will share with our neighbours. The, for other farmers? For the other, other farmers. farmers. We'll okay. share with other farmers. Or we use it and we make things and then we donate to you know children's homes and things okay. like that. Yeah. Farm is like uh, divided into different sections. Could you just talk about your you know the farm, yeah. the sections? Actually, the shape of Bollywood veggies, the land, mm. is like Mumbai, you know? Okay. It's shaped okay. like Mumbai. Mm -hmm. We are bounded by two drains mm -hmm. and it's split into 12 sections. Why do you choose to do this when, you know, with your wealth and you can very well retire and, you know, relax, comfort? Why do you choose to continue with this? I'm already retired and I live in a beautiful environment. But you know, Renju, when you are as privileged as me, mm -hmm. I think people must realise that the rich must love your country. And especially women with this position must love your country and start something that can help other women. So that I think when you empower women in the world, the world will be a better place. Heard even your farm, you employ women more. Yes, I also employ disabled people okay. so that they can help uh, themselves. Mm. They have pride, they work. Mm and uh, everybody else helps them along as well. Do you have any message for the you know, aspiring farmers or you know, the women out? I think the message, to, especially to women who are fortunate, it is your responsibility to help the rest of the women in the world who are not as successful as you, not as privileged as you, so that the world will become a better place. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ranjit. So Andrew. much. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Ivy. Right. Wishing you all the success. Thank you very much. Thank you. In the segments of Namalin, Ningle by Pango Chakashikal, Melakisha, but don't choose him. Art episode with numbered segments with a Pudia Kashikal, my Vernore. Singapore Choice Summer with the house brand Tanada Sod in the Samtrati Powered by All India Supermart Singapore.
ഹോൾസെയിൽ പ്രൈസ് ആയിട്ട് റീറ്റെയിൽ മാർട്ട് കോസ്പോൺസേഡ് ബൈ തിരുമലാഗി ദ ട്രസ്റ്റഡ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് കൗ